elementary school. And it was an honor and a blessing to be able to meet them last year. And I felt the love and care and unconditional love that they showed me in that short, in those short moments that I met them. I'm so thankful that I've had the opportunity to represent their beautiful daughter, their beautiful daughter, that shining light. And I've done my best to represent her in the way I hold myself. And everywhere I've gone, I've, I've carried her with me. And also the memory of all of our missing and murdered Aboriginal women. And I've always, always, I always held in my heart that prayer that they would be able to come home safe and to continue, continue to be safe within our communities, within our cities, within our homes and our in our in our and in our in our country, not only Canada but the United States. This issue that's plaguing our women, I believe that there can be be healing. We can bring healing to this issue by honoring our women. Honoring our women while they're still with us, while our women are still successful, thriving, beautiful, caring, loving, nurturing. Our women are sacred, they are holy. We are sacred, we are holy, and I see that in each and every one of you girls, and I'm so happy that you're all here running for this title because I see in you a successful young woman. No matter if you get the title or if you don't, I believe that each and every one of you can do great things, and I see that in each and every one of the teen girls and the junior girls and the women and the adults and the golden age. I see beauty in our women. I see that, and it's a time of healing, and this is why I brought this special and also the conference that I put on yesterday. I wanted to bring healing for the fourth year. I wanted to bring in healing for Sharice and her family. And I hope that I've done a, a, an okay job of that. And I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your congratulations and for all of your support throughout this year, throughout these past couple months where I've been fundraising, I thank you for purchasing a blanket in support of the missing and murdered Aboriginal woman. And I know that whoever it is that is crowned next, they're gonna do a wonderful job. They're gonna do great things. They're gonna go great places because I was so thankful to, be, to have been blessed with all these opportunities that this title has brought me. And I'm so thankful for my role models and for the people that I look up to within, within my circle and within my family and those goals and dreams that I've had. I'm so thankful that they have encouraged me to keep going towards those. Such as this crown, my mother, last year my mother, she encouraged me to run for this title because she was a past missing, missing in world in 1987. I really look up to her and I love her. And I'm so thankful that she's been here. I'm so thankful for my family that are here today. I'm so thankful for all of you who are here today. I'm so thankful that you're all here at this wonderful celebration of life. Here in the center of Turtle Island in Winnipeg, Manitoba, I'm so happy that we're all able to gather here I salute the light within your eyes where the whole universe dwells. For when you are at that place within you and I'm at that place within me, we shall be as one. I see the light in your eyes that we as First Nations people are bright people. We all have that same light inside of us and we can all create success within our communities, create safe places for our women, safe places for our men. And I'm so thankful that uh, also <clears throat> I've had the opportunity to travel as far as Honolulu, Hawaii. And, uh, and uh, I've also been to Gathering of Nations, at Window Rock, Arizona, all across Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta, and all over the United States. And I thank you for being here today, those of you that I invited. and. Those of you who took part in my special, I'm so happy the way it turned out because I seen I seen how much how much 
life was in our women today, the way they danced so hard to that beat of that drum, and I'm just so thankful you all enjoyed your time here, and I'm thankful for the time that I've had over this past year to represent the missing and murdered Aboriginal women. As well, I'd like to thank the Miss Manitowabi Committee, Committee, Committee for showing all their support for all these young women and bringing in this opportunity for success, for success and for them to step up to this title, to step up and try out for this. It's showing so much courage and so much bravery and so much amazingness in our young women. And I'm, I wish good luck to you all. And I've had a wonderful year. People were asking me if I was going to cry. <laughs> So are you going to cry? I was like, I don't know yet, but I, I just don't know. I'm just so happy that this title is going to keep going, that this issue is going to be continued to be represented within Canada. And I wish you all a wonderful time here. Safe travels home. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Hi, hi.